Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the very highly requested what's in my hospital bag video. Actually, I had all, I had my bag and all of my stuff outside of my bag and we were gonna pack this together, but we had a little bit of a scare and an emergency where I was not in the mood to film a video. They told me something was wrong with my baby's heart. They sent me to high risk. I'll post the video of the whole entire appointment and my follow-up right there, but I thought that they were gonna find a heart defect. I thought that they were gonna have to give me an emergency C-section. I thought that I was going to literally leave the doctor's office and go right to the hospital. So I was not in the mood. I was emotional all day. I was so low energy. Adam and I were both so anxious until we got this appointment. Everything's fine with baby, but the whole point in telling you that a minute and 37 second story is that I was not in the mood to film that night. I packed this really quick. We're gonna unpack it and go through it to see what's in there. I had a duffel bag kind of like you you guys know i'll put a picture of it there but it's my tory birch i used to use it as a gym bag kind of like a big bag it was way too small for me and baby this doesn't even have adam's stuff in there and i moved to a large carry on i mean i'm sorry a small carry-on suitcase which i heard a lot of people use but i also in doing research aka binge watching youtube videos adam laughs at me because we share this channel and he's like oh look you watched more pregnancy videos today. I'm shocked. Anyway, I see people coming back with their second baby and they're like, what I actually used in my hospital bag, what I didn't use in my hospital bag, what's a waste of space in your hospital bag? So you guys tell me, please tell me in the comments below what you think I should take out of here, if I need to add anything in here, if there's anything that you're like, I didn't know, that's a waste of space, downsize girl. They're gonna hate you on the hospital ward. The nurses are gonna laugh at you. You guys know how it is. Tell me, please, I need to learn from you guys. Really quick before we dive into the hospital bag, this portion of the video is sponsored by Case Nova. I always love watching big name YouTubers talk about the cell phone cases that they get, but they're always so expensive, I can never bring myself to buying them. So I loved when Case Nova reached out to me and asked me to collaborate with them on this part of the video because their cases are equally as trendy, but also extremely affordable. Case Nova is a one-stop shop for the stylish yet economical Apple product-related gadgets. The company mainly focuses on women's iPhone cases, AirPod covers, Apple watch bands, and other accessories. Case Nova believes that on-trend cases are a powerful statement of a woman and girl's unique personality. They stay on top of the latest trends from around the globe and rapidly bring these styles to the market. So whether you're searching for a cute and bold patterned iPhone case or simple yet stylish textured AirPod covers, that was a mouthful, Case Nova can always fulfill your wish. For a 10% off discount code, use ROWCLAWSON, all one, all capital at checkout. I will also put a link in the description box below that you can just click to get that discount code and links to every case that I show in this video. Thank you so much Case Nova for working with me, especially because I'm that girl that never has extra cell phone cases and I wear mine out to the point that this one in the video was worn out too, where the bottom was so beat up and broken that it actually had some sort of metal sticking out of the plastic and I would cut my hands when I used it, yet I never went and got a new cell phone case. So thank you to Case Nova. I look on trend. My phone is pretty girly and fun. If you guys decide that you want to try Case Nova, use the 10% off discount for yourself and then also I'd love to see what you get. Tag me on Instagram at row underscore Clawson. Love you guys. Back to the video. Do you guys remember also side note when this shirt fit me like a cute little crop top? Yeah, not anymore. This was like rolled up and I had to uh, hoist it down and I had to tuck it into my sweatpants because that's where we're at nowadays. I live in sweatpants and oversized dresses, but then I have to put shorts underneath because of the chub rub and then they hurt and uh, come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, let's get started. What do I have on the outside of this bag? This has an outside zipper. We have, da, da, da. first things first, we have mommy diapers. 
These are the Depends diapers. When I first packed the bag, I had about 10 in there. And then I'm like, girl, slow down. Because I heard all about the mesh underwear and the pads that they give you. But then I heard other people say that they preferred to bring their own. So I just bought the Depends ones. Do I need these? I downsized to three because I heard nowadays you're in and out of the hospital in under 48 hours. So I'll probably wear the hospital ones and then maybe change the second day or just wear these home under whatever I'm wearing home and go from there. Yes? No? What do you guys think? That's all I had in there. What's in here? Oh, I told you guys about this when I did my high risk appointment video where I was so nervous that something was wrong with the baby, but I lent this carry on to one of my girlfriends and I also lent her my spare Costco card and it's the one that was in my mom's name. So for you guys that are new here that don't know, my mom passed away two years ago. I was taking care of her. We got very close when she was very, very, very ill with breast cancer. And after she passed, I of course I had her card because I had her on my account before she got sick or before she got really, really sick, she was able to go to Costco on her own without me. I took my mom off my account when I moved to Las Vegas because this is irrelevant now, you know? And I put Adam on my account. This was after I lent this to my friend. She wound up not being able to use it. But I told her, I was like, you could just throw the card away. Like, it doesn't really matter. I don't need it back because it's it doesn't work anymore. Well, the morning that I was leaving for my high risk appointment, I went to go put something in this small pocket and I realized when she gave me back this bag, she had put this Costco card in there for me because she didn't want to throw it away. And it fell out that morning and I was like, oh, it's a sign from mama that she is watching over me and baby. Now, don't make yourself cry, girl. Let's go, keep going with the video. But I just wanted to share that sweet little thing. Okay, let's go inside. Oof. This brings me back to the days I would always pack a small carry-on when I would go once a month to visit Adam. And then my one girlfriend that I always stayed with was like the cutest thing and she was such a minimalist and she would bring a duffel bag. And then there was me. And it was probably three quarters filled with makeup, not lying. Okay, let's go in the small pocket. We have a couple of nursing bras because I saw on somebody, oh, a nurse, a labor nurse said that they don't like when you are in labor and you wear the sports bra kind of nursing bras. They prefer if you wear the nursing bras that clip in the back so they can easily pop them off. Let's say you need emergency surgery. Let's say that they wanna take it off so you could do skin to skin or breastfeed or this and that. So this is the bra I will be wearing probably immediately in the hospital. It is a Soma bra. My sister swears by them. She gave me a coupon code when they were running a sale. I think I got this for 20 something dollars. And then I brought these to wear home. I don't know what size I'm gonna be. I don't know how big they're gonna get. They have not grown so much through pregnancy. I started as a small D and now I'm just like a really big D, maybe a double D, but probably not because I'm still wearing the same two wire-free bras I was always wearing. And I'm still wearing the strapless bras that I had just kind of overflowing with those. So I don't know if I will be a medium. I don't know if I will be a large, but I'm bringing both. And this one's really cool because it's a pumping bra as well. So I thought that was really cool. I got this at Ross on the clearance rack for less than $8, somewhere between six and eight. And this one's from Target. I've been wearing it as a sports bra too around the house. I even wore it in the pool one night because my bikini tops are starting to get a little too small and I had a couple of nip slips at the pool. Adam was laughing at me so hard because I like popped up and I was like, what? And he was like, oh girl. So that's why it kind of looks like it's been through the ringer. It has been. I was not waiting for a baby, but it is the Auden AUD. EN brand from Target and I've gotten so much use out of this already. I'm not even nursing yet. Then I have this little hello my name is name, weight, length, date, time, signed for when baby comes. I got this at Hobby Lobby during a 50% off. I got this for 250 or something like that. So I thought that was cool. I also have letter boards, but I probably won't bring those to the hospital. I'll just use that stuff when I get home. And then I have these birthing affirmation cards that I got from Oh Baby Boxes in the first trimester box. I'll link the video that I did with Oh Baby Boxes up there. Uh, we collabed on a third trimester box and there was some really cool stuff in there. Actually, while I say that, I got these compression socks. Aren't they pretty? They say mama, they're so cute. I got these in my 
third trimester for O-Baby Box. So I'm gonna bring these to the hospital too because they're a compression. And I heard that you swell a ton after labor and delivery because they give you a ton of fluids through your IV. I also have these shorter crew socks. They're non-slip on the bottom. They're the red light infused socks that I was gifted through True Energy. I'll put the video where I talked all about them up there, but I put these in there too. So like when you're in labor or right after and you're walking the halls of the hospital, yucky, who nobody wants to walk with bare feet in the hospital, gross, germs, COVID, you know, all the things. So we'll have socks to protect my feet. I haven't gotten there yet, but with my shower shoes, but also the red light therapy is supposed to help with healing and inflammation and all that stuff. So those were in there too. Then, what's this? Oh, this is just for dirty clothes that came with the suitcase. And I have a pencil and a marker for the sign, for a new here sign. Oh, I should bring a dry erase, huh? I wonder, can you use a dry erase on wood? Can you? Somebody tell me. I'll ask Adam, he knows those things. <laughs> I ordered from Amazon for, I don't know, $10, an extra long phone charger because they say that your hospital bed, you don't know where the cord's gonna be in relation to you laying in the bed. And if you have a really long labor, you're going to need more battery on your phone, especially if you're watching Netflix or playing around or whatnot. So I ordered one for Adam and I to share. I might actually order another one because it's $10. I have my old, headphones just in case it's like a really big rush but i have a note on the table with my last minute stuff to pack in the hospital bag if it's not a really big rush to bring my wireless beats but in the meantime just in case i brought these there there's like a wire there but they're bluetooth these headphones i should probably bring a charger for them i don't know how charged they are i don't know where that is but i'll find it i guess maybe i don't know so that's all the stuff that was in the side pocket let's pack that in back in there so I don't have to do that later. Ooh, I can't get past this belly. That is one thing I can't wait for is to be able to maneuver in life again in the bag itself. I have these awful looking but the most comfortable shower shoes slash slippers in the world. My, my sister swears by these. She sent me the link. They were, I don't know, maybe $15 on Amazon. She's like, they're the ugliest things, but they're the most comfortable things for a pregnant mama. So I figured for the shower, for roaming the halls, for all of that fun stuff, who cares about how I look? My feet are gonna be so swollen because I'm already a sweller. So I can only imagine what I'm gonna look like with all that fluid. So we got those. And then I heard a fan during labor is huge. I heard maternity wards are hot. I heard you're sweaty and sticky. Junie told me that she thrashed around and she was so sweaty that she, her first labor, she didn't put her hair in a braid and she thrashed around her bed and it was just all matted and knotted and disgusting the next day. So she told me to put a, to put my hair in a braid. And also this is one of those fans that you put water on the bottom and it's battery operated. This is a little thing, you push it, it spritzes out water, and I heard it's a lifesaver during labor. Do I need it, will I use it? I have no idea, but it's there. I also heard to bring a water bottle that you can close and have lying in the bed next to you because you're gonna be hooked up to things, you're gonna be in so much pain, you're not gonna wanna, well hopefully I won't be, but there's a potential to be in a lot of pain and you're not gonna really wanna get up to drink water, you're just gonna want it there laying next to you, so this closes. I could put this on the bottom of my purse and it's not gonna drip out. And it keeps water cold, so I could have Adam go fill it with ice and water and I will be set, like I could just lean it on the bed next to me, not have to sit up and just take sips because along with sweating and being hot comes getting thirsty. I heard labor makes you really thirsty, so we're prepared with a water bottle. I have a nursing tank top to probably wear home, I'm not sure. I have another, this is just like a black ribbed tank top. Before I found this nursing tank top in my drawer that I bought when I first got pregnant, I just threw this one in there. I don't like the feeling of ribs on my pregnant belly, ribbed material on my pregnant belly right now because I feel like it irritates the skin and I'm trying so 
hard to avoid stretch marks, which knock wood, I haven't gotten any yet, but I don't know if I'm gonna wanna wear this or not, but it's there. I only have one robe and I didn't wanna go out and buy another robe. So I heard cardigans work very well for that. This is just a very lightweight cotton cardigan that I'll probably wear with the nursing tank top underneath it and a pair of shorts or sweatpants in the bed. And that would be if there's like a day two in the hospital. I don't know how long they're gonna keep me for, but I know nowadays they're trying to get you out pretty quick. I have a pair of very loose leggings. I heard after baby, wear clothes that fit you around six months pregnant. I can still wear these. They're just a very, very, very loose, like a not workout pair of leggings, very loose pair of cotton leggings. I used to wear them, still sometimes wear them just around the house to sleep, sometimes running errands, but they're so old and worn and more just like for around the house. And so I figured laying in the hospital bed, a diaper will fit under them. They're black, so I'm not gonna ruin them if I bleed on them. And they fit me now, so they'll fit me after, even when I still have like a six month bump, after baby comes out, I might even wear them home. Not sure, but they're there. Another black tank top that I probably should take out of the, why, why, why? I should probably take it out of the bag. A pair of just really oversized joggers that I might wanna wear home if the leggings, you could like see the diaper, or if, I don't know, maybe if I'm gonna be cold in the maternity ward and I wanna wear something that keeps me warm. So sometimes I run cold, so I don't know how the hospital is gonna be. I have large oversized sweatpants to either wear in the hospital or to wear home. I saw a nurse suggest maybe wearing a dress home. You might feel more comfortable. So just this black plain dress, it's kind of long on me because I'm short, so I'll knot up the bottom that might fit with a diaper too. But if I do that, I didn't even pack them in here. First of all, that's wrinkled AF, but who cares? I should probably bring a pair of shorts to wear underneath there because obviously I'll still have chub rub. So I need to do that. I brought a lot of clothes. Do I need all these clothes? I don't need all of these clothes. What am I thinking? I brought pajamas from Target. I was told if I'm gonna try to breastfeed, which I would love to, bring something that buttons just to make it easier. So that's the top. And these are the shorts. They are, what's the brand? I don't know the brand, but they're from Target. Everything in here was folded, but they got so wrinkled. I don't think anyone's gonna judge. And then I also brought, before I found that maternity top, this could go with any of the shorts or the pants in there, but it was just a pair of pajamas that I had from a long time ago that has these little ties on top. So I figured I could just untie it and open it up for breastfeeding. So this is from Target. I got it off the clearance rack years ago. It's exhilaration brand and it's a size medium, but it kind of fits loose. So that'll be fine. These are a pair of, it's pants pajamas. When I first got pregnant, I was like, ugh. No, that's not true. Maybe it was probably six months because I had a belly already because I bought them in a medium and I had to go back and buy a large because the pants, they fit, but like a little bit too tight. So it's just these beautiful loose pajama pants, a matching tank top with some lace. This brand is in bloom and I got them from Nordstrom Rack because I kept hearing like, you want pajamas for the hospital, you want pajamas for the hospital, you want cute pajamas for the hospital in case you have visitors. It didn't come with, this was separate, but I bought this robe that matched. You want a robe for the hospital, you want a robe for the hospital, that's what I kept hearing. I don't know, you guys tell me that are experienced. Do I wanna wear these brand new pajamas in the hospital because I'm gonna be bleeding? Maybe not, maybe just stick to the black stuff. I don't know, but I got this robe and that's why I also got these navy blue pajamas from Target back when I was like, oh, I need new pajamas, I need to look cute. I could wear these with this robe and then on second day, I could wear these with this robe and still look kinda cute and put together and ready for visitors. <sighs> Can I even have visitors during COVID? Do I even have friends that are gonna come visit me? So maybe I'll save this and not wear it at the hospital or maybe just wear the robe and make sure I'm not sitting on it, you know? <laughs> girl, girl issues. Because I don't wanna ruin these beautiful brand new pajamas because of the inevitable bleeding. But then again, there was a diaper. So I don't know, you guys tell me that have experience. Underneath there, I have some belly bands. I have medium. I have this waist trainer one. And then I also have the large one I've been wearing throughout pregnancy that I stopped because it started hurting my sciatic nerve when I would wear it. It would support the belly, but it was too much support for my lower back that I guess I wasn't getting that movement in the muscles. And it was the only time that I got a little bit of sciatica pain during my pregnancy, which is crazy because I've struggled with sciatic pain my 
whole entire adult life because of the way I was working out before and like my CrossFit workouts and lifting heavy weights. And it was just, it would take its toll, me personally, on my sciatic nerve. My mom always struggled with sciatica, even during pregnancy. Knock on wood, I'll be 37 weeks tomorrow, like a couple days and no sciatic pain except for that one time. Stopped wearing that and it stopped. Little man is really doing his mom a solid, what is it, 1990? Then I have my toiletries for me. It's not completely done yet. Hair ties, I heard they're of utmost importance. I have so many. I have these two in here. I have them in my, host, in my purse too. I have a razor. You can't leave home without one of those. This was just in there because this was still almost half packed from when I would go see Adam, I would never unpack my bag completely because I was always traveling once or twice a month. This is some sort of perfume that I won't use at all, but this, again, it's a face mask. I'm not gonna use it at the hospital. I should probably just take it out of the bag. Floss, which is important. Poopery, I probably won't even poop at the hospital. Well, <laughs> except for on the table while I'm giving birth, but they will lie to me and that did not happen and everybody will take it to their grave that that did not happen. So that's a completely different story and I am so not looking forward to that. But I figured I'd stop and while I was editing this to stop you from having to write in the comments. <laughs> girl, girl, you don't even know. Oh, I've been warned. So excited. A nail file. Again, that was all already in there except for the hair ties. Belly lotion. It's from Elemental Mom. I figured I'm going to want to keep moisturizing my belly even with the baby out of there. It's going to be hot and dry. It's July in Las Vegas. I figured I'm going to want to moisturize my belly. This Alba Unpetroleum. So I use this as kind of like chapstick, but it's all natural. It's like Vaseline, but it doesn't have petroleum in there. It's all natural. Unpetroleum hence the name. But I heard your lips get ridiculously dry and chapped during labor, but also in a hospital where they're kind of keeping it warm and the heat's going. Oh God, I hope the heat's not going in July in Las Vegas, but dry hospital ward to try to keep the, worm, the worms, no, the germs down. There better not be worms in the hospital. We'll do that. I have my natural deodorant. I always wear Schmitz. Bought an extra one just to throw in here so we're not playing. I heard that once the hormones kind of go a little nutty, you just stink, period. You just stink. I guess it's to help your baby notice your scent to feed them. I don't know, but I'm not about the smelly life, so I packed that in there. Toothpaste, a brand new one just to keep in here because Adam and I love the clay toothpaste by Uncle Harry's. We got it from Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys want to try it. It's like my favorite toothpaste ever, although it's kind of an acquired taste. It has like this salty flavor because it's clay. But anyway, if I put an open one in there and it's in there for a couple of weeks, it'll dry out. So I got a brand new one. We always use this stuff. It's not going to go bad. These are from our trip across the country. I have shampoo and conditioner, just these travel size that I took from a hotel. They're Aveda, rosemary, mint, Will I wash my hair? Probably not while I'm in the hospital. I only wash my hair like once a week, unless I get like blood or there's something gross in there. And I, oh, okay, shampoo. Oh, I have two shampoos. Okay, weird. Two shampoos and a conditioner. What I'm realizing right now I don't have is like any kind of hair product to hold my curl. So I have so many under the sink in there. I can throw one in there. Or honestly, a lot of times if I'm traveling like that, I'll just leave conditioner in my hair and let it dry in there. So I might do that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I pr honestly, I probably won't wash my hair. In just like this little travel thing, I think I got this at the dollar store. I have my body wash that I use because it is not scented. I think it's not. No, it's not. It's the non-fragrance one because of, you know, the down there issue. So I don't even know that I, how you wash down there after a baby, but body wash. This is body lotion that again, I probably won't use, but it's there in case I feel dry and this one runs out or something. And then I have this toothbrush that got hair on it that I probably would never use because it's dirty right now, gross. But I put that in there in case we run out of the house really quick. It's like a big emergency and I don't have time to pack my electric toothbrush because what I still have to pack that I wrote down are face products. I don't want to buy extra because they're expensive. The electric toothbrush 
and also I have to buy, I was waiting to see if I had one in here, but I heard, this is so cool, I heard if you take a comb, one of those dollar store long combs that starts with the thicker bristles and goes down to the thinner bristles and they're just plastic and you can get them in every color under the sun. I'll put a picture of it up there if you don't know what I'm talking about. When you're in labor, let's say this is the comb and these are the bristles, you put it in your hand and you squeeze. Something with the pain receptors in your brain register that pain, the nerves register that pain before they can register the pain of a contraction. So it's like a weird pressure point, nerve, kind of like you're kind of tricking your brain to not feel the pain of a contraction. It's the same reason why when you hurt yourself, you like pat it because your nerves register that pain before they register the pain of a cut or a burn or something like that. So you guys learn something new every day. Clothes for baby. I don't know how big he's gonna be. It's on the backside so you guys can't see it. I have his going home outfit with a matching little cap that has his name across it. That's a little surprise for you guys. But I also brought a blanket onesie because, and I don't know how big he's gonna be, two little tiny newborn onesies. I bought these tiny little newborn clothes, a muslin swaddle to bring him home in. Honestly, I didn't bring too, too much for baby. Maybe that is too much, I don't know. But I didn't bring too, too much for baby because I was gonna bring stuff to do a photo shoot in, all kinds of different blankets and swaddles and all kinds of stuff. But I'll do those photos when I get home. I did not bring any socks for him. I did not bring any shoes for him because I have the swaddle. So you guys tell me, does that work? I was trying to go minimal there. So I had room for all millions of outfits that I'm not gonna wear. You know how that goes. I don't have anything packed for Adam in here. So he's just gonna probably pack his backpack with a couple things, or I could take some clothes out of here and he can pack some stuff in here. Guy clothes are so easy. It's just like shorts and a t-shirt. He wears boxer briefs. They take up no room. They could probably fit in there. <laughs> the day that I packed the bag, I was like, okay, do you want me to pack stuff in there for you? And he's like, you didn't? <laughs> but I don't know. I wouldn't want somebody to go through my clothes and take clothes out that I actually wear every day. I'm so particular with that. I would want to know, you know? Boys are different. But the other thing that I have oof, to bring to the hospital, and I don't know if I'm gonna actually use it, but I heard if you're there for a while because I might have to get induced to bring snacks. On sale at Target were a whole bunch of Lara bars one day. So this is actually, I took them all out of a box and I put them all in one box. That's an assortment of them. This is an extra one. RX bars I have in my purse my wallet with my driver's license, my insurance cards, everything that I'm gonna need for that. So I also keep in there a little bag of Harper medication, some snacks for when I'm out of the house longer than I thought I'd be. So I figured I would put the RX bars in there. So I have extras of those. Are we gonna go through this many? I don't know, it depends on how long we're in the hospital. It's mostly how hungry Adam gets. I have gum because I heard your mouth gets really dry during labor and delivery and some people want gum, especially something to like freshen up their mouth. If gum feels disgusting to me, I have mints as well. Adam's aunt suggested bringing all the stuff that helps you with nausea in the first trimester, she says helps you during labor if you're nauseous. These are little, oh, there's only one left, huh? I guess I used them during first trimester, but these little fizzles that you stick in your water a midwife suggested on YouTube to mix coconut water and red raspberry leaf tea while you're in labor. Supposedly, it helps you not hemorrhage or bleed as much afterwards. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea, but I do like the taste of coconut water and why not hydrate? Are these necessary? Are they not? I have no idea, but they're coming, I think, maybe. Between my hospital bag, this ginormous thing, this, those huge nurses baskets that we have in the other room and Adam's bag. Oh my God, it's like we're moving into the hospital. That's so embarrassing. You guys tell me, did I pack too much? What should I take out? Do I need more for baby? Do I need less clothes for me? Yes, girl, you do. What should I keep? What should I not keep? Should I leave those new pajamas at home? Are they gonna get ruined? Tell me all the things because I am a first time mama that knows nothing, but we are down to any day now, so. Let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being part of this journey with me and baby CJ and Adam and just being so supportive and part of our lives. If you are new here, what a baptism by fire. Hello, welcome. I'm Ro, I'm crazy. I'm a first time mom who knows nothing at 42 years old. Didn't think I'd ever have a baby. But if you'd like to join the family and see what 
happening moving forward, click the little circle that pops up on the screen or the red box below. If you want to watch other videos with me, just scroll back on my channel. Or if you see something that pops up on the screen, you can click one of those. It's different on different devices. You might see it, you might not. Most importantly, or maybe not, give this video a thumbs up if you like my content or just want to help support me. It just helps me out in YouTube so much. Please give me feedback in the comments. I would be eternally grateful. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.